हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड स्टेट ट्रांसिशन मैट्रिक्स द स्टेट ट्रांसिशन मैट्रिक्स कैन बी गिवन एज इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एस आई माइनस ए इनवर्स so to find the state transition matrix first we need to find si minus a inverse in s domain then we need to take the inverse laplace transform to convert back to time domain so this is the formula which you need to remember so in the same way we can find inverse state transition matrix as adjoint of state transition matrix divided by determinant of state transition matrix so you need to remember these two formulas based on these formulas the question will be asked yes. here let us take an example where we need to find the state transition matrix for a is equal to 1 0 1 1 first let us consider the formula for state transition matrix in this formula first let us find si minus a so to find si minus a let us take s yes, that is multiplied by identity matrix subtracted by the matrix a so we can write s 0 0 s minus 1 0 1 1 so so if we subtract these two matrix we will get si minus a is equal to s minus 1 0 minus 1 and s minus 1 so it is direct subtraction s minus 1 it will be s minus 1 0 minus 0 it is 0 0 minus 1 it is minus 1 s minus 1 it is s minus 1 now we need to take the inverse of si minus a so to take the inverse we need to take adjoint of si minus a divided by determinant of si minus a so first let us find the adjoint of si minus a so adjoint of si minus a is nothing but in si minus a matrix we need to interchange the diagonal elements and for other diagonal element we need to multiply by minus 1 so if we interchange si minus 1 and si minus 1 the values remain same in other diagonal element if we multiply by minus 1 so we will get 0 and 1 so this is the adjoint of si minus a to find the determinant of si minus a we need to multiply s minus 1 into s minus 1 minus of 0 into minus 1 so we'll get s minus 1 into s minus 1 let us take this as determinant of si minus a even you can simplify this value and you can keep for our problem we will take this as determinant of si minus a once you find the adjoint and determinant of uh, si minus a you need to divide these two matrix so si minus a inverse will be equal to this is the matrix that we obtained for adjoint of si minus a and this is the determinant of si minus a so if we divide these two values we will get this matrix where first term is s minus 1 divided by s minus 1 into s minus 1 Zero divided by s minus one into s minus one. One divided by s minus one into s minus one. S minus one divided by s minus one into s minus one. So if we simplify this, we'll get s i minus a inverse as one divided by s minus one zero. One divided by s minus one whole square. One divided by s minus one. So for this matrix we need to take laplace inverse so that we can find the state transition matrix so if you find the laplace inverse for this matrix so 1 by s minus 1 laplace inverse is exponential to the power of t 0 it will be 0 for 1 divided by s minus 1 square it will be t into exponential to the power of t for 1 divided by s minus 1 it is exponential to the power of t So this is the state transition matrix for the given matrix A. Similarly, let us find the inverse state transition matrix. So inverse state transition matrix will be adjoint of state transition matrix divided by determinant of state transition matrix. So adjoint of state transition matrix we need to change the diagonal element. We need to replace the diagonal elements and for other diagonal element we need to multiply with minus one. so we'll get exponential to the power of t 
minus t exponential to the power of t exponential to the power of t. So determinant of state transition matrix is nothing but exponential to the power of 2t. So we need to divide this matrix with this value so that we can get inverse state transition matrix. So if we divide these two, we will get inverse state transition matrix as exponential to the power of t divided by exponential to the power of 2t then 0 minus t exponential to the power of t divided by exponential to the power of 2t and exponential to the power of t divided by exponential to the power of 2t. So this is the inverse state transition matrix for the given matrix A. This is about state transition matrix. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.